Everton taking on Spurs, and unfortunately the big story from this game was the injury to Andre Gomez late in the match. Uh, Son with the challenge. Uh, initially, the ref would show a yellow. He would change it to red once, we saw, once he saw the extent of the injury. Um, however, replays would suggest that maybe it was the clash with Aurier that saw him take his ankle. We will freeze it, though, here because it is very graphic, the replay. Um, boys, you knew, didn't you? Straight from... Didn't the... Peter Walton, our colleague, say that once that he... Uh, and I'm... Yes. And Peter's on tomorrow, but when Aaron Ramsey yeah. broke his leg at Stoke, yeah. he changed his... The Shawcross decision, yeah. The Shawcross challenge, which was a terrible break for Ramsey. The, the bone was outside the leg, it was compound, and Pete said he changed his decision when he saw the injury. I kind of get the feeling yeah, that's this, what this might well. have happened again. It is a kind of natural thing to do. I personally don't think there was any intent from Son. It was a rash challenge, for yeah. sure. And then somewhere along the line, when Gomez loses his foot, and because of the challenge... Aurier is also there, and somewhere in between all that, the weight has gone over on it, and unluck uh, unfortunately, he's, he's broken his uh, leg. I don't think there's any intent from, from Son to cause that kind of damage. I, I don't think there's any question. I do think, though, that Son was trying to leave a little bit, as, as players say, and on, uh, on the field, on, on Gomez. And as a, as a result, the, the consequence I think he has to bear responsibility for. If it was just an innocent challenge and somehow, you know... He got elbowed, didn't he, a couple of minutes? He got elbowed ball, early, early, early on in the game. And then, and then as a result, I think Son is trying to leave a little bit on, on Gomez. Obviously not trying to, to break his leg in that manner. Um, which is why I say I think Son has to bear the responsibility and the, the red card for me is the right decision. Had it just been a normal challenge in the ordinary course of a game and somehow that was the outcome... But if he hadn't broken his leg... It wouldn't have been a red card then? It would be yellow. I have no problem with it being a yellow. Yes, for me, the, the outcome can impact how the, how the uh, challenge is, is, is adjudged. Do you agree? What, what Bart? The fact... <laughs> are you listening to any of that? Yes. The fact that if he didn't break his leg, it would have been a yellow? Yes. 100%. <laughs> Which is what we said at the start, the impact of the, the injury... Yeah. Mm changes the referee or the VAR, or whoever it was, his mind. But should it have stayed a yellow? I don't have a problem... Look, I don't have a problem either way. I'm really not interested because I think the big issue here is that sure. a guy's broken his leg. We've mm -hmm. all played. You, I've touched wood, I didn't break my leg. He did, but I've been yeah. playing when guys have broken their legs. And, and I think that's way more important than, than what should have been given. The fact is he made a rash challenge and somewhere along the line... Um, he might think he's a little... What I would say is he's probably unfortunate to get a red card. Mm -hmm. right. But in the big story, it's, not, it's neither... I mean, you can see how upset he was as well at the time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.